Hi, Year Five. It's Mrs. Gibbons. Um, so today we're going to do some art again, and we are learning to create a self-portrait in the style of Roy Lichtenstein. So let's find out a little bit more. Um, we are linking to the song "This Is Me." So obviously we're doing a self-portrait, um, and we're basing it on this artist, Roy Lichtenstein, who was born in 1923 in America. He became very famous for his colourful pop art paintings and his comic book style. So pop art is basically art that is based on popular things of the time. So often it incorporates everyday objects. Uh, you may have seen um, pop art that includes things like soup cans, things like that, comic strips. Uh, logos, things like that. So Lichtenstein uh, made paintings inspired by comics and he was also well known for using this dotty technique. So it was a way of building up colour and texture like uh, comic books did. So that's how he got his inspiration. So obviously, uh, as you can see in some examples of his work, he used different colours and patterns um, to sort of show colour, but obviously be reflective of that comic strip uh, style that he liked. So here's some examples of his uh, work. So to link in with our topic, as I've said, we're going to create a self-portrait titled This Is Me, and we will use Roy Lichtenstein as our inspiration. So we'll be using his dot method to colour our self-portrait. So here are some examples I found that other people have done. Notice some sometimes we use a bit of block colour and then use dots for the rest of it. That's fine if you want to do that. Um, it was quite well known as well for using onomatopoeia, so words that sort of made that sound like pop, pow, things like that. Um, so there's just some examples. So like here, for example, you can see that the glasses are in a solid colour and the eyes are in a solid colour, but then they've used dots to add that sort of texture and colour. So. I've had a go. So I started off by trying to draw a self-portrait just in pencil. A good way of doing it, if you struggle to do portraits, is if you've got a photo of yourself, you can hold it up against a window and put your normal white paper on top of it. And if it's bright outside, it will help you to be able to trace the outline. So that's what I did to get that, to get my outline, because I'm not amazing at drawing. Uh, then I started to add colour with dots. So I started on my top, first of all, then I moved on to my hair, etc. So I just chose different sections of the picture and kept using dots to add colour. Um, so it is slightly time consuming, but it's, it's quite, um, quite therapeutic, actually, to listen to some music while you're doing it. It's quite relaxing. Okay, so this was my final version. So I did use a bit of block colour uh, around the eyes um, and then use dots everywhere else. Okay, so that is your challenge to have a go at doing a self portrait uh, using Roy Lichtenstein's dot method to add colour and texture. Can't wait to see your work. Uh, please make sure you are tweeting them or emailing to us so we get to see your amazing drawings. Okay, bye. Take care.